In this video, I'll be talking about the basic definitions and terms uh, involving partial derivatives. So let me just say in words, partial derivatives are, um, are the two variable and three variable analog of derivatives. Uh, it's sort of the idea of taking a derivative of a function by holding one of the variables constant. So we suppose we have a function f of x, y, and one way to maybe make sense of this function is to examine what happens when, when just x is changing and y is held constant. So we define this notion of partial derivative with respect to x. Uh, which is synonymous with the, with the term rate of change with respect to x. And we write this using the notation, we use these strange curly d's. Um, so the partial derivative with respect to x of the function f at a point a, b uh, the definition of this, well, the idea is we're going to keep all of the y values equal to b and let x vary and take a derivative of that function at a. So I'll define a new function on the side here, a function of one variable, g of x equals f of x comma b. So like I said, I'm thinking of a and b as constants. So now I'm, I'm plugging x and allowing it to change, and I'm plugging b as a constant into f. And so the partial derivative of f with respect to x at this point a, b is going to be the derivative of this function, where only x is changing inside f, uh, and y is fixed at b. So this is sort of a long way of, of defining the value of this at a point. And notice g sort of depends on b, but we're thinking of b as a constant. Uh, this isn't the way you'll be c computing partial derivatives. We'll sort of have a more routine way of doing it, but, but this is sort of the initial definition. Well, we can do the same thing with respect to y. We have a partial derivative with respect to y. Oops. Partial derivative with respect to y, we write this way, curly df over curly dy at a, b is going to be the derivative of this function h, where we hold um, the x values all equal to a, and allow, allow the y, y values to change. So the partial of f with, with respect to y at a, b is going to be the derivative of this function h at b. So let me give a quick example. Let's say my function is something really simple. And I want to find the partial with respect partial of f with respect to x at the point negative one, two. Well, going through that process I just mentioned, which we'll learn a better way to do it later on, but here's how I've told you. I'll define g of x to equal f with x plugged in and with the y values uh, uh, set constant equal to 2. Well, in this case, I'm plugging 
x into f and 2 in for y, so I'll have 2x plus 3 times 2. So g is really just 2x plus 6. g prime of x is just 2, and then so g prime of negative 1 is 2. So that's the partial of f with respect to x at this point. It's just 2. And you could check for yourself if you go through the same type of process to find the partial with respect to y, you'll get that this is 3. Namely, if I define h of y equals f of negative 1 comma y, so I'm holding the x values constant and letting the y values change when I compute the partial with respect to y, this gives me negative 2 plus 3y and the derivative of this, just as a function of one variable, is 3. And so its value, when y is equal to 2, is 3, like I said. Now let me go through a more complicated example. which lets me discuss the way you'll usually be thinking about computing partial derivatives. So we can define, if the function is nice enough, we can define the partial derivative with respect to x at any point x, y. Instead of plugging in a specific point, we want to think uh, in abstract terms of just x and y. and there's a little confusion in this notation because x here refers to the first variable and, and x here refers to some x value that we're plugging into the function. But the way we think about this is still the same. We're pretending y is a constant and taking the derivative of this with respect to x, but we always have to keep in mind that we're thinking of y as a constant. So derivative of x squared, thinking of y as a constant, is 2x. Taking the derivative of 3xy, so we're thinking of y as a constant again, so we have 3y times x. So again, I think of this as just a constant times x, just as you would if you had 8x. The derivative of this with respect to x is 3y. And now I take the derivative of negative y squared with respect to x. But I'm thinking of y as a constant again. Uh, the derivatives of just constants are 0. So that's sort of how we think about computing partial derivatives um, at, any, at any point, not just specific ones. Likewise, when we take partial derivatives with respect to y, we think of x as a constant and take a derivative with respect to y. So now when I look at this, I see x squared, which I'm thinking of as a constant because only y is changing. So the derivative of that part is 0. Now I have 3xy, where I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking of, thinking of it like this. Namely, I think of 3x as a constant times y. So if I had a number times y, the derivative of that would just be the number. So for this first part, the partial with respect to y is 3x. And then for this last part, the derivative of this with respect to y, thinking of x as a constant, is minus 2y. And uh, later on, I'll show you geometrically what these partial derivatives mean.